Hello, my name is Nicholas Poling. This is the developer's commentary for Team Our Group's final pro capstone project, the escape. Let's get into it. Refresh, get latest, no files updated. Capstone project A.exe. I worked on most of the widgets here, the high scores, level select, options, quit control menu, and the credits. This credits page is updated to give it a more professional feel with a scrolling scrolling with a text scroll credits in order to give a more final feel to the game. I was the one responsible for building the tutorial level. I wanted enough text and text around the area to tell the player what they need to do. Press P to pause. Level select works. I'll show that in a second. Controls, same as the main menu. Options, visual, audio, slider. Quit, run the hub. Quit, game, yes. No. I tried to give the text on the wall to explain what the player is doing, giving them no real option of, other than to follow with the tutorial as it guides them through the main game loop. I tried to show the player early how to lose in order to force just to make sure that they don't go back too far. trying to incorporate every main game mechanic such as buttons, pressure plates, portals, everything while also incorporating way back a way back
I did try to incorporate every mechanic that we thought we'd be using. That one mechanic is the only part that we ended up not using. And the reason why those blue walls are all over the place is just in case if the player decides to be smart and try to take a cube outside of its designated area. teaching the player to walk, to look for those buttons and also watch their outcome. Teaching the player about movable platforms and how to get across these gaps. That's a poison cloud. I will show it in a second. This is a light bridge letting the player cross. I designed this area again to teach the player about the damage. If they stay in, they will watch their health bar deplete. Again, showing them in a safe area that's not too punishing for restarting. Same with the laser. Now the idea is that they're meant to leave that there. Again, more mechanic explanation to try and teach the player throughout the game what they'll be doing. I crouch there to get underneath. Circuit puzzle to both expose that area, expose the poison cloud, and expose the pressure plate, telling the player that, hey, you need to go back and grab the pressure plate. Not pressure plate, but grab the cube. There, the reason why there's one there is why there's a blue film here that takes away the cubes is it is possible for the player to get two cubes into that area and I want to make sure that there is no way for them to take it beyond that point. Load into the meat into the next level. I'll show you how the player can do it very easily. Oh no.
Now, why they would want to do this, maybe they think they're being smart, maybe they have their own added difficulty they're trying to figure out. But maybe, just maybe, they're trying to be silly, they're trying to be fun. One last playthrough, because that was intentional. It's, I wanted to reward the smart player. It's just by taking this cube, they can skip the level should they so desire. I did want to point that out. This is not a mistake on our end. This is Perforce. I can show you here. That is perforce not saving the uh, save to the depot, but it does work. All right. Now, should they get the two cubes in the same area, there really is no way to take it into any other part of the level. So there's no 
trying to glitch the system, no trying to break the level. It's just, this is your cube, this is where you're allowed to play with it. If they try taking it beyond the given area, they'll find that they can't. But for every cube, there is a way to reset. The only way for them to get into a soft lock is if they get One, I say soft lock, one cube here. They get the other cube down there and they destroy it and they delete and they yeah, destroy it. Oh, I'm zoomed in, that's why. I did try to account for every possibility while developing it of just, well, Players trying to break the game. If they do try to soft lock themselves, they can't from there. It's in order to get in order to get out here, they would have had to have gone past here. They can't take this past here.
So now they have no cubes. How do they win? And that was my reasoning behind the tutorial level.